Do you want more people showing up for your live broadcast on Periscope? Let me show you this quick trick on how to automatically notify your Facebook followers that you're going live on Periscope. So IFTTT stands for if this then that. Anyone who's in development or programming would know what that means, but to the average person basically it's it means if one thing's thing happens then do another. Basically this is a free service that helps you connect tons of applications and technical items and um, solutions to automate your life. And so it shows you a couple of the basic ones. Notice it says 241 services. I don't know how they can get all of those services in one, but I'm gonna go ahead and click on one. And basically what you're doing is integrating or connecting two different applications, sometimes three, to do things. So here's a list of a couple of different things. Notice they have things like Spotify, Amazon Cloud, Weebly, Slack. There's a lot of things in here. So I'd be surprised if you can't find an automation. Okay, when you sign up, it's very easy. You put your email address and then your password, okay? I'm just gonna go ahead and sign in. Now here's the trick. You can create what, what's called recipes, connections or mixtures of um, applications that basically do something for you. But I would suggest, if you're just starting out, to browse through one, the top ones up here. See? Recipes to streamline your social media. And actually just browse through by category. So this one has social media and basically it tells you exactly what it's going what's going to happen. Now these are other people that are creating these, but the way you actually choose which one you're going to use is you can look at how many people actually liked it and how many people have used it. So for instance, there can be several different recipes for Facebook to box to save Facebook photos, you're tagged into Dropbox but you want to look at the ones that have a lot of people installing and a lot of people liking it. Okay, I'm going to search for a couple other recipes. So if I click on browse, it gives you other recipes that are recommended. Okay, so today I'm going to create a recipe that says every time someone, or actually every time I start my Periscope, notify everyone on Facebook that I'm starting. So I'm just gonna look for Periscope and Facebook. And I'm gonna put in a couple extra words. Native image, I think it's called, because I've already found this recipe. But really you could just put in the two applications. Okay, that didn't bring it up, so I'm gonna click on Periscope Facebook image. Okay, here it is. Promote live Periscope on Facebook with branded image. That means I can use my own image, not the default image um, that the whoever developed this created. Now, one of the things you want to keep in mind is you can't upload anything to IFTTT. It's simply connecting to applications. So what I did is I uploaded a video, um, excuse me, I uploaded an image to my WordPress. If you wanna see that video, you can click in your top right-hand corner and click there and it will take you to that video on how to upload it. Otherwise, um, we're gonna go ahead and keep on going. Okay, so this is telling me basically that Every time you use this hashtag, it will post on Facebook, I'm live on Periscope. So I don't want it to say I'm live. I'm gonna do something that actually 
matters to me. I'll put my own name in there because that's something I can put in my Periscope and I'll remember. You don't want to put the word Periscope because you'll use that a lot. <laughs> so um, you can receive notifications when it runs. And I believe you have to set up the app for that. A couple of things that you want to keep in mind. This doesn't have my image in it. It doesn't have my text. So you want to click on Advanced Settings. Anytime it says Advanced Settings, you want to go in there and edit. So this is the default image that they have. And I'm going to show you that this is what would pop up on your Facebook every time you go live. I'm live on Periscope. Okay. So you can actually leave that if you want, or you can create your own image. So I'm going to actually connect it to my own image. Okay. So I logged into my WordPress site. I went to library. So media and then library. Then I search for Periscope because I know I have an image here. The only thing I need here is the URL. So I'm going to select this. And I right clicked and chose copy. I'm going to go back to my recipe, right click and paste. And now it will be my own branded image. Okay. If I like, I can add it to a specific album on Facebook, but I'm going to go ahead and click on add. Okay. So one of the things I want to show you just in case you made a mistake is that you can actually edit your um, recipes. So under my recipes, you see all of my recipes, the last time it ran. Um, one of the things I want to do is go back and, back and add my link to my Periscope. So I'm going to go ahead and click on edit. That's a little pencil. And I'm going to put, I'm live on Periscope. Join me. with the link. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to do a little test. Okay. I started two periscopes with the hashtag socially Nina. As you can see, it ran twice. So I'm going to go ahead and look on my Facebook and here it is. So it created an album. I'm live and it has my images so there you go i have i'm gonna actually hide this i'll delete them in a minute but basically i know it's working and that's how you use ifttt to automatically notify people that you are on periscope and so did you like that video all you have to do to see more videos like that is one like that video and then subscribe to my channel and then you'll be notified as I get more tutorials. Or if you'd like to ask about me doing a tutorial, go ahead and leave the comments in the box below and I'll respond and let you know if we're gonna add it to our list. Also, don't forget that I'm here every Wednesday at 10, 10 p.m. Eastern answering questions. But again, don't forget, like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. And subscribe. See you soon.